Both getting the boat smoothly away off the start. Gowler and Prendergast to our right on the Buckinghamshire station. The more experienced pair will tell you more about them later. And look how they get into their pace. And will they be able to shake off the crew on the Berkshire station? Steering reasonably nicely, staying close to that island. We have a look here in at Kirsten Guja and Jackie Gowler. The uh, lovely quote from them, they said, we're feeling ballsy, confident in what keeps us going, and it's good to get the first race out of the way. Training's been going well, they're first Henley, and it's nice to be able to enjoy the atmosphere. And they're enjoying the atmosphere here as they're neck and neck coming out of the top of the island. Yeah, it's a case again, you know, it must be really difficult because they're sisters, but also they train together, um, coming to Henley on a semi-final racing against each other, and, you know, trying to put each other under pressure. Um, you know, this could be a real kind of fist fight. Certainly is. We have a look in there at Kerry Gowland. Just look at how still her head is. Just look at it. It's fantastic the way she just keeps in a straight line, just going straight up and down. And her body then just makes all the movements to me so smoothly, so quietly around the finish and just keeps powering it along. And something we see in this New Zealand cruise, they make the smooth start and then just keep going. Yeah, it's, it's about holding that pace, isn't it? It's going from A to B as quickly as possible. Uh, trying to get in front obviously but their cruising pace just seems to be something that they can maintain and just keep knocking out every kind of you know section of the race and just keeping the same sort of split well clearly it runs in the family because looking there at Jackie Gowler's face as well she holds it pretty still and the body comes around the rigger she makes that connection funny little thing where she drops her outside shoulder right round to get that maximum reach and then comes through the stroke but now the more experienced pair just starting to ease out and get towards that length. I'm sure the umpire will be going for the flag pretty soon because that's puddles from Kerry Gowler being sent down onto Kirsten Guja in the bow seat. But the speed and class of this pair, you know, when you were in Poznan, you saw when they broke the world record, it shows the caliber of these two girls, you know, the British pair of Helen and Heather have broken the world record, been unbeaten in five years. You know, these girls went out and broke the world record recently. So, you know, it shows the caliber of this particular combination. Well, we've been lucky enough to have Helen Glover joining us in this commentary team, so I wasn't going to mention that. But since you have, yeah, Glover and Stanning, the British pair who were, uh, for, for about five years, dominated this women's pair. They raced against Gowler and Prendergast back in 2015. Gowler and Prendergast got the silver medal that year at the World Championships, then took the decision to go into the New Zealand eight um, and only competed in the eight at the Olympics. And uh, then now they've gone for it in the pair and um, able to go out, as we say, in Poznan and set a new world best time faster than Glover and Sterling had ever managed. So now Gowler and Prendergast on the left of the shot have been able to settle into their rhythm. Grace Prendergast there, you can see her coming around the rigger. Leaning slightly into her rigger towards the bow side. She just, they back each other up so well. And move so smoothly down the track. Looking like a new New Zealand pair that could come out and dominate all the way through from here to Tokyo. That's their goal and see just that completely quiet efficiency on Kerry Gowler's face sitting in the stroke seat. That shot from behind was really interesting because, you know, if you just took the other pair away, they both move identical. You know, look at this, the similarities and their kind of movements in their bodies. These combination. I know that's from the, they're from the same system, but it shows how well that system is working, that everybody's following the same pattern of movement. Well, it's... An amazing performance the New Zealand team are putting together right across the board. We'll see more of their crew. Delighted that everyone in New Zealand has come to join us here at Henley to join the regatta. We hope our comments about the British Lions won't stop you from wanting to watch us again and join us. We hope the washes that your crews are having to row through on a Saturday afternoon won't stop you wanting to be here joining us because it is fantastic to have the best rowers in the world here competing on the Thames at Henley Royal Regatta. As with all sport, when it's done well, they make it look easy. But you can see even there on the face of Kerry Gowler that 
you can you know they're working hard you know that she's just able to keep calm keep control i'm sure those legs will be burning now from that scare they got off the start from the younger pair gowler and guja went out very hard put them under pressure and gowler and guja good athletes and good performances in their own right jackie gowler was an under 23 in 2015 and 2016 guja did a junior rowing in New Zealand, then she went to University of Washington. Now she's looking to get back into this New Zealand team and see if she can be another of these fantastic athletes that we're going to see competing all the way up to Tokyo Olympics. And that program she's been involved with at University of Washington, you know, won the NCAAs this year with Yaz uh, being in charge of the program. And I was chatting with one of the girls at Henley the other day, and they were just saying the culture and the change that Yaz has had since she's came in there has been incredible. It's interesting to think about their cultures and their different systems. We saw the crews from Thames Rowing Club and just what a good system, what a good culture they've got there. Within the New Zealand team, they're able to produce this. Again, what do you think you need to have that makes it go right, Mark? Well, once you have a little bit of success, people feed off that and the belief. And when people, you know, it's always, you know, when they, they believe that you can come from a certain nation and achieve something that's when the belief really kind of runs through. So, you know, we've done it in our, our, our kind of team over here, team, you know, the British rowing team, you know, it all used to be about the men, but then the women got some minor medals at the Olympic Games, the belief came in there, then they won gold medals, then we won lightweight men gold medals, lightweight women, and then once you have it across the board, you know, you understand how to win those particular boat classes. And I think it is, it's having those role models in your system, the people who show you what it is that you need to do, and you think, well, if I train like them, then then I get the belief that I can actually achieve as well. And I think that's what you get within the system. And this New Zealand team must just have so much belief that what they're doing is right, what they're doing is going to work. Because as we've said, there's different techniques, there's different training methods. For me, it's hard to say one method's better than the other. The most important thing is that you all believe in the method you're doing. You believe in the technique you're using, you believe in the coach who's asking you to go out there and, and put it all on the line. And then that gets the results. And then that mutual respect you have in your kind of boat when you kind of get in there. You don't have to be the best of friends in rowing. You know, it's not about that in a team sport. It's about getting the best out of the people around you. And, you know, having that mutual respect and understanding that you're all in it together. And then when you come to race day, there's nobody else you want beside you or, sorry, behind you or in front of you and the people around you that you have at that particular point. And let's just take this last look at how smoothly and together this pair of Gowler and Prendergast are just a privilege to watch the connection the long arms the hanging off and the quiet finish and just how smoothly that's moved them all the way down this 2112 meter course here at Henley Royal Regatta now they're going to get a moment to wait at the finish let's see how much sisterly love there is here as we see that results in the women's pair a win for Prendergast and Gowler over Guja and Gowler coming down to the line now